Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can factorise an expression where the coefficient of x squared isn't 1. So for example here the coefficient of x squared is 3. Now in order to do this what we need to do is we need to partition the expression into two parts. So this 10x we're going to split it into two bits and then we're going to factorise from there. So what we need to do is we need to decide how we're going to split this 10x, how we're going to partition it into two. Okay, right, so what we use for this is we call it the AC method. And what we're going to do is we're going to write down the value of AC. Now, this has got, uh, we're going to call this number here A, this number here B, and this number here C. Okay, so the AC method requires us to multiply A and C together. So I'm going to start by writing down that AC is equal to 3 times 8, which is 24. Okay, I'm also going to write down the value of B, and B is going to be equal to 10. Okay, so what we're looking for is we're looking for two numbers that multiply together to give us 24, but add together to give us 10. So the two numbers that multiply together to give us 24 and add together to give us 10 are going to be 4, a positive 4 and a positive 6. 4 times 6 is 24 and 4 adds 6 is 10. So I'm just going to write those here. So we're going to have the number 4 and the number 6. Okay, and they're both positive. Right, okay, so that tells me how I'm going to partition this 10x. So I'm now going to write this down. We're going to write down... 3x squared, and this we're going to split it into plus 4x and plus 6x, and then we're going to have plus 8. Okay, so this 10x has now become plus 4x and plus 6x. Okay, what we're now going to do is we're going to factorize this part here, the 3x squared plus 4x. Okay, so let's just... um concentrate on this part over here. Okay, so if I factorise 3x squared plus 4x, that's going to give me, well, x is a common factor, and inside my brackets I'm going to have 3x plus 4. Okay, and that gives me 3x squared plus 4x. Okay, and then over here I'm going to factorize this part here so we've got plus 6x plus 8 and if I factorize this I'm going to have um, a common factor here is going to be 2 so I'm going to have plus 2 and inside my brackets I'm going to have 3x plus 4 okay so 2 times 3x gives us 6x and positive 2 times positive 4 gives us the plus 8. Okay, so now I've um, I've, I've um, almost finished. What my next step is now going to be is to put this all together. So I've got 3x plus 4 and 3x plus 4. That's a common factor of this whole thing. So I'm going to write 3x plus 4. That's a common factor. And... I'm multiplying it by x and I'm multiplying it by 2. So in here we're going to have x plus 2. So this factorise gives us 3x plus 4 times x plus 2. I can check it by um, expanding it out. So 3x times x gives me 3x squared, which is what we want. 3x times 2 is 6x. And then we've also got a plus 4x, and 6x and 4x gives me this 10x, and then 4 times 2 gives me 8. And we can see that it's worked. Okay, I'm going to let you have a go at this question here. Um, I'm going to write down a question for you. We're going to do 3x squared plus 14x plus 8. Okay, I want you to pause the video and have a go at that question now. Okay, I'm now going to show the answer to this question. 
Okay, and this is what you should have had as your answer. Right, I'm now going to show you a different example. So now we're going to work on this one here. Example 2, and we've got 6x squared take away x take away 12. We're going to use the same method again. So my a value is 6, my b value is negative 1, and my c value is negative 12. So a c is going to be equal to 6 times negative 12, which is negative 72. Okay, and my b value is negative 1. So I want a pair of numbers that have a product multiplied together to give me negative 72 and have a sum add together to give me negative 1. So those two numbers are going to be, I think, negative 9 and 8. Okay, so like we did before now, we're going to partition this negative x into a negative 9x and an 8x. So we've got 6x squared take away 9x plus 8x take away 12. Now it doesn't matter which way around you have this. Um, either way, you're going to end up with the same final answer. Okay, so we're going to concentrate on this bit first of all. So we've got... 6x squared take away 9x and if I factorize this uh, I've got a the highest common factor is going to be 3x and inside my brackets I'm going to have 2x to give me 6x squared take away 3 okay and now we'll do this part here And we're going to have plus 8x, so um, the highest common factor here is going to be 4. So we're going to have plus 4, and that's going to be 2x. And to give negative 12, that needs to be a negative 3. Okay, and you'll notice that this part and this part is always going to be the same as each other. Okay, so our common factor here is now going to be 2x take away 3. And we need to multiply by that by 3x plus 4. Again, just as a check at the end, we can do 2x times 3x, which gives us 6x squared. 2x times 4x is 8x. Negative 3 times 3x is negative 9x. And 8x take away 9x gives us negative x. And negative 3 times 4 gives us the negative 12. Okay, and I want you to have a go at uh, this question here. 6x squared take away 6x take away 12. And now pause the video and have a go at that question. Okay, and that's what you should have as your, as your answer there. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Thanks very much for joining me. I will see you next time.